Hi there, Ultimate Nova fan. So today I got in the mail the Marvel Legends Retro 3.75 inch figure, the man called Nova. Now, the book on the right is just a book that I am showing to show the similarities between the artwork on the blister card and the art on the book. This book, by the way, is a reprint, not the original book, but um, I digress. So I simply wanted to post a video regarding the latest release of a toy connected to Nova. There is supposed to be a statue coming out this year. It's been held back because of shipping problems. Uh, that one was announced last year. So all the Nova fans are still waiting for that. In the meantime, uh, this figure here was announced, I want to say back in June of this year. And uh, it seems to be these retro figures are very successful. And not hard to find, just, you know, uh, you have to... You have to go to the stores and look. I believe Target is selling them. Not this figure, but the lineup. And you can also find uh, this lineup at um, comic book stores. So uh, Nova is in the most recent release, which I believe is Series 7. Uh, there's a total, I believe, of six figures in this set. He is one of six. Um, there's no telling how many Novas will be in the box when they ship those two places. Um, for some people who are collectors, they know the phrase chase figure. Nova might be a chase figure. Uh, I believe Iron Man, Spider-Man, Captain America, uh, Firestar... Moon Knight and Nova are the characters that are going to be released in this set. So um, I ordered this on a Friday, and today is Sunday, and I got it. And I was looking really forward to getting this, uh, simply because I want to have a, a very complete collection. And I don't have a complete collection, but I have pretty close in my years of past and the most recent years. There are some knickknacks I need to pick up and look for and uh, this was one that was supposed to come out in October and we are only a few days away from September so technically another month before this one hits the comic book stores and who knows when it's gonna hit the um, toy stores well department stores so uh, I didn't want to wait I saw it online it was being shipped from and sold by Amazon for the regular retail price and uh, I noticed no one had posted uh, them finding it or getting it yet. So I thought I'd just jump on that opportunity. And uh, it also goes on my site with all my Nova stuff. Uh, I'm still currently working on my little cartoon uh, series, which is it's coming along. I've, I've done a couple of little seconds of animation uh, regarding him and a lot of the characters from the first book, which is this book here. So, um, it's not a huge project, but it uh, is something that I'm doing as a labor of love and uh, something that I think people will basically enjoy. Uh, I, I'm taking the time it, it takes to um, practice some of the animation techniques that I've learned. Like I said, a very simple cartoon style, um, uh, doing my own voices and I've created the characters and, and all of their perspectives and um, I don't know if it's going to be a great story I don't know if I'm going to try to do the same story that was in the book for each character and each issue but um, I, I'm pretty proud of my progress and my achievement in that regard because no one else has done it and uh, we now know that uh, Nova will be a um, project that is in the works, the early, early, early stages. Uh, I guess they're writing drafts right now, screenplays, whatever. Uh, either going to be on Disney as a miniseries or 
a big budget movie. No one knows. Um, I think it's going to be released 2024 and start production in 2023. So we do have that to look forward to. And anything else they decide to put out regarding Nova to get people excited or uh, caught up to speed of who he is. In the meantime, uh, I just thought I'd release uh, the thing that is mainstream. There are a lot of little knickknacks out there. Trading cards, little role-playing figures, and other little merchandise. And Some of it's not this Nova. It's the uh, uh, Alex... Uh, Sam Alexander Nova. So, um... I'll I'll take what I can get, but I got it, and uh, it it like I said it came early, and uh, here we go. Just really quickly, I'll turn the box around, let you see that before we call it quits on this video. So nothing uh, nothing too big a deal, just a basic picture and a short, very short description. There's the logo, Marvel Legends, and um, a copyright date on there somewhere. To let you know it just came out but I am happy to have that and I know there's a couple other people who have posted on uh, fan book sites uh, fan Facebook sites that they have them as well so uh, they're starting to circulate and they'll just be out there and everybody will be able to get them because these figures are showing up at the Target and comic book stores so when they hit the shelves uh, they'll pick all over them and you'll be able to get the one you want and it looks like Spider-Man I think Iron Man and Captain America is in every series that they release. So they're going to get a backlash of those things. And then the ones you want will probably be all taken and, you know, scooped up quick. So this is the Ultimate Nova fan getting ready to sign off. Just wanted to post uh, my most recent uh, acquisition of the man called Nova. Um, not to be confused with the modern day Nova, which is the same guy, just... Uh, cooler costume and uh, more exciting adventures out in space. I'm still a huge fan of the original series. I hope, to be fair and honest with Marvel, that they uh, take advantage maybe of the 1970s uh, time period for the series or the movie. I think that a lot of things could be done with that, but we won't know. We'll just have to leave it up to them. Alright, uh, Ultimate Nova fans signing off. Thanks for watching.